Do you know that Allah Almighty gets happy? Do you know that we have a Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who smiles? Do you know that Allah Almighty, our Rabb, our Lord, He laughs? Subhanallah. Then what makes Allah Almighty feel happy and what makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala smile and laugh? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith that Allah Almighty gets happy when he see one of his slaves repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So yes, we are the cause, we are the one who is making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. Can you imagine that? That Allah gets happy because of your own action. And how Allah gets happy? We want to know how Allah gets happy. In the same hadith, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describing that how Allah feels happy. And he told us a beautiful story that a man is traveling with his camel. In that camel, there is water and food and whatsoever that belongs to this person. And he is traveling into the desert. While he is traveling, he saw a tree and he would like to have some rest under the shade of that tree. So he went to that tree and he wants to have some rest. He went to that tree and he sat down. After some time, this person slept. And after some time when he woke up, he didn't see his camel next to him. He got mad and he stood up and he started looking left and right and running here and there. He got really crazy. Until the hadith says, فَأَيْ أَسَى That he lost his hope. That's it. No hope that he will get back his camel back. And he thought that he will die. So he went back to his place, to the tree. And he is waiting for the last moment that he will die while he is waiting for the camel. And that's it. The camel will not come back. While he's thinking like that and he is completely hopeless, he slept. And when he got up after some time, he saw the camel next to it, next to him, and he just, you know, grabbed the rope or the belt of the camel. So you can imagine how happy he is because he was just about to die and he lost the hope and he hold the camel after some time. Because of happiness, he looked at the sky and he said, Ya Allah, you are my slave and I am your Lord. He made a mistake even by saying the dua. You know, it should be, Oh Allah, you are my Lord and I'm your slave. He said, Ya Allah, you are my slave and I am your Lord. He made a mistake because he was so happy. This is what the Prophet ﷺ told us. Allah Almighty get more and more happier than this person if one of us make tawbah to Allah and he repent to Allah and he go back to Allah. Subhanallah. Wallahi, if this is the case with your manager or with your supervisor or whoever is above you, that you are the cause of making this person happy. That day is, you know, the joyful day for you because you will think that he will give you a promotion, he will give you increment, he will shift you to the better department or whatsoever, right? What about if you really make Allah Almighty happy, what he will do to you? You cannot even imagine what he can do to you because if he is happy, you are happy for sure. So this is what I would like to say that we have to make istighfar, we have to say astaghfirullah always. There are three conditions plus one. You might say, what is three plus one? Three conditions, it's between you and Allah Almighty. You're doing something, you're watching something, you're saying something, you're whatsoever. If it's between you and Allah Almighty, you have to do three things. Number one, stop doing the sin. Number two, you have to feel regret. You should regret about what you was doing before. Number three, you have to have a strong intention and will that you will not go back to the sin. These are the three things that you have to do. Number four, which is plus, plus one, if it's between you and someone else. For example, if you said something bad to a person and you have to go and ask for his forgiveness, the person.